Hey, what's going on, you guys? In this video, we are going to talk about, deeply talk about, how do I develop my video ideas for this channel now? Um, I There's a whole lot of different places where I go um, for my, normally for my video ideas, if I ever get stuck or if I all of a sudden run out of songs to cover. These are like probably, like I'm going to say about six places where I normally get all my video ideas from, whether if it's um, covers or if it's reaction videos or if it's a song, if it's a guitar lesson video or a bass video, lesson video, all of those ideas, this is where I get all of my ideas from. So number one, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, etc. Now this is one of my favorites because like I can just instantly just go on there and just click on any genre, any song, and then boom, I, I have the song right then and there and I can just listen to it. And if I want to learn it, or if I or if I don't have any ideas for my channel, I'm just gonna write that song randomly down and learn it, you know, whenever I can. So that's number one place where I find and develop my video ideas from is from like places like Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, etc. Number two music books and slash guitar tabs or bass tabs because I, I if you I, i'll put it in the link in the description well uh, like I, I i mean i still got like some more music books over there over on christmas and um thanksgiving and birthday and stuff like that but those are like that that's the number two way where if i want to find like a different branch to find my ideas from I would go to like my mostly all of my books that I have on my shelf, my guitar tabs and you know, all the song books over the years that I used that um that I haven't crossed off yet, you know. So that's number two. Number three, the number third way how I develop my video ideas on on this channel is YouTube guitar slash bass lesson channels. Now this this is kind of one of my favorites as well because I can just learn it right on the spot and it's free, you know, so that's one of my favorite things, you know, but not a lot of people are very self-motivated, but I would highly recommend to do number three if you st start to get in a rut on a guitar and you can't really afford guitar lessons yet, is um, go to Guitar Lesson 365 song, go to Chris Zupa's channel if you want to be, if you want to play lead guitar, go to Marty Music if you're a beginner and go to, what else, who else do I use? I'm sorry, you guys. I, I use, oh yeah, guitartricks.com. I mean, which I'm about to say in number five. But, um, like, yeah, like, that's all of, like, the other channels that I would, top four or five channels I would highly recommend on YouTube for you guys to check out if you get stuck in a rut or if you need some lessons or something like that or if you're trying to find a song to learn from you know those are the top four or five channels that i just said so number four the number fourth way how i develop my video ideas is from my personal guitar lessons and bass lessons now for the past like four or three years i've taken a lot of bass lessons and a lot of guitar lessons as well and this year i'm still taking guitar lessons and um Next semester of my college, I'm going to continue to take piano lessons and trying to get Excel and better at that. So if, yeah, like if, if I learn like a lick or something, or if I'm, if I find something that helps me improve, I'm going to try to release it and put it on this channel or on Patreon. You know, you guys should subscribe to my Patreon. I never say that in any of my videos because my Patreon is very, very good. I'm going to start posting there on more and that's the besides the point. But yeah, like my personal guitar lessons and bass lessons, those those really helped me a lot because like i mean i have like a huge book full of songs that i learned from all of like my lessons over the years but it's really really valuable if you're thinking about getting a guitar teacher or a bass key teacher would i recommend it heck yeah i would highly highly recommend it. even though it's covid kind of nowadays where you know they don't want you to come kind of come in person most of them are online so kind of be a little bit more patient at that you know if you want to wait until kind of after quarantine you know you can try to but i don't know how long this quarantine thing is gonna last this is like january of 2021 so it's lasting for over a year so but yeah number five is you know you guys already know is guitartricks.com now i've been using guitar tricks since um the very end of 2019 is it worth the 20 bucks a month yes 
Yes, because you have lessons right there and it's much more deep in advance. And no matter how good you are or how beginner you are, they go, they kind of handhold you throughout the guitar journey, basically. So, yeah, guitartricks.com. I, would I recommend it? Yes, I would highly recommend it for anybody. Now, last and certainly not least, the number six way of how I develop my YouTube video ideas for this channel is from fan song requests. You know, because I have, since I now have 100 subscribers and I have like, a, a, you know, um, 400 and f almost 450 followers on Instagram and, um, you know, on my other channel, I have like about 10 subscribers. So, you know, I have a lot of like some fans that would tell me, hey, play this, play that. And I would definitely would just write it down because then I'm like, all right, that's a video idea I can do to my channel. So if you guys have any song requests, or any video request ideas, you know, don't be afraid to put it in the comments or, you know, DM me on Instagram, you know, because that's where the fastest how I see it. Or email me at kyle.augustine123 at gmail.com because I can see it literally like pop up on my phone like that. So, yeah, th that's the, all the ideas that I get from all the most of my content from. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.